Hey Tesla fam, super exciting day for everybody with a Tesla. So I just parked the Cybertruck at home and I took the Model Y out. Since the Cybertruck doesn't have FSD right now, it's not enabled. So with the FSD on the Model Y, everybody is getting 30 days free trial. So whichever Tesla you have, you're gonna get 30 days free. And if you buy a new Tesla, you're also gonna get 30 days free. So with this new um, FSD 12.3.2.1, it has auto park. So that is pretty cool. Like this right here, auto park did that. And I'm about to show you guys some demo in this video. And I'm going to test it on a McDonald's run. So I'm going to see how FSD performs. So give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. So now let me show you how that auto park feature works. It's pretty cool. Let's check this out. We're at Walmart right here. And you can see all the parking spots. So these rectangles right here. So I stop. And if I touch the P. Hit start. It's going to put me in that um, parking spot right there. So let me go widescreen right here. And you can see it. So auto park in progress. Pulls up the rear view camera. So you can see look at that just going right in it gets it pretty good too look at that wow just like that <laughs> nice auto park complete all right so let me show you guys what this looks like outside of the car with the auto park so here we go I'm gonna pull up right here again that way you guys can get a bit a better view what exactly is going on so let me go right here start and let it do its thing so you can see it's turning <laughs> let's see now it's going in reverse this is pretty neat look at that wow and this system is all camera based. There's no sensors on this at all. Look at that. Pretty neat. Good job, Tesla. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna take FSD on the road and see how it performs. Navigate to McDonald's. There we go. We could go to this one. In 500 feet, turn right onto Club Pond Road. There we go. See what it does. Please don't give me any curb rash. <laughs> so in my last FSD video, I was on version 11 and it did some crazy stuff up here. <laughs> you guys can check to see that in my um, previous video. Now let's let's see if it stops. Okay, so it's stopping. It's going. Okay. Now turn left onto Fayetteville Road. I like that. I like how it came over to the left lane real quick, rather than going in the right and trying to come back over in the left so that was pretty good some reason I think this looks a lot smaller than version 11 the cars on the screen not sure if I just got used to the Cybertruck, everything being so big. <laughs> so let's see, so far so good. Um, why is it going 40? Um, speed limit is higher than that, unless it didn't see like a speed limit sign on the road. So let me crank it up. Let's 
go about 60. Speed limit is 55 on this road. But I guess there wasn't a speed limit sign when it turned, so it just assumed it was 40. I haven't got any nags yet to put my hands on the wheel, so that's cool. Thanks, Elon, for giving everybody 30 days, you know, so they can experience FSD. And I think that's a great way for um, new car owners to experience FSD than trying to, you know, pay a subscription on top of a monthly car payment and whatever. So that's good, you know, 30 day trial. If they like it, they can subscribe or they can, you know, buy the full package. So I think that's perfect. Whoever came up with that idea at Tesla, good job. But look at that, I haven't had my hands on the wheel since I started and it's going by itself. No nags. Version 11, kept having to put my hands on the wheel like within 10 seconds or, or less it would keep nagging at you. Like pay attention, put your hands on the wheel. None of that so far. Seems pretty smooth. It did that lane change by itself. It's going. Make sure you guys are follow, following me on X or Twitter or whatever you call it. Because I was pretty much one of the first guys to put out this tweet last night. You can see them on the screen right now. Where I said, hey, it's going out. Check your emails and do the, do the software update. So you could get the FSD trial. So there it goes. Want me to put my hands on the wheel. Take it off again. So far, so good. I feel so different in the Model Y because I've just been driving the Cybertruck. I feel like I'm way lower to the ground, but the update came out, so I, ha I definitely had to come and try it and put it on YouTube so you guys can see FSD 12. That auto park feature works pretty good. Can't wait for them to get autopilot and FSD working on the Cybertruck. That's going to be a game changer. Here we go. It wants me to put my hands on the wheel again. Apply a little force. Take it back off. Next time it comes up, I'm going to try to scroll wheel. Because I know you can, you know, swipe the scroll wheel a little. And instead of putting your hands on the wheel. So let's see if that still worked in um, version 12. But so far so good. We're doing a nice night drive. I was busy today on a photo shoot with the Cybertruck so couldn't get this video done in the daytime. Okay, let's try the scroll wheel. Okay, so the scroll wheel still works. Just swipe it up once, swipe it back down to the speed limit. So instead of like shaking the wheel, you just use the scroll wheel here. Just slide it up once and you're good. I'm not pressing the accelerator, the accelerator pedal or anything. I just like having my feet over it so if it slams on brake I can you know press it or if I need to brake then I can brake whatever but I've not seen any phantom braking or anything like that no none I know in version 11 it was doing it I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that was phantom braking. I think that's just slowing down because it sees the red light ahead and the car way ahead is slowing down also. 
But in version 11, on this road, it would slam on the brake a lot. So, like, for... <laughs> I don't know what, for what reason it would, but it did. And there was, like, nothing in front of it. It just wants to just brake. But so far, so good. I am very impressed. This might be worth buying. <laughs> okay, still going 40 here. It's 55. Let's crank it up to 60. There must have been some speed limit sign on the side. I'm not sure why it's just stuck at 40. I'll look out for a speed limit sign again and we can, I'll let you know if it changes. Because this road is 55. Okay, here's a speed limit sign, 55. Let's see if it changes. Okay, so it changed to 55. Not sure. In one mile, turn right onto Two Bear Lane. Okay, so we're almost to McDonald's. And it's still going pretty good. Pretty solid. Let's see what happens here. I'm not touching the brake. I just have my feet over it. In case it doesn't stop soon enough. There we go. It's coming to a stop by itself. And it's going. Nice. A lot different than version 11. I can tell you that. With version 11, I think I was a lot... I was more nervous, <laughs> but yeah, I feel a bit more relaxed with version 12. And this is my first experience with version 12. Let's see. So we should make a right turn up here. Now turn right onto Two Bear Lane. Okay, it's turning on the signal. That's good. Let's see how it handles this right turn. Okay, so it stopped. Okay, it's going. Okay, and now it's going now left. Turn left onto Good Midland Drive. Let's see what it's gonna do here. Okay, pretty good. McDonald's is right up here on the left, so let's see what it does. Let's see if it's gonna take me around like it did in version 11. Now turn left. Okay, now turn left. Wow. We are at McDonald's. Autopilot navigation complete. Version 11 brought me right around. Let's see what this does. Now your destination is on the left. Okay. Wow. Very impressive. Good job, Tesla. <laughs> Good job. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend and subscribe for more content. A lot of Cybertruck videos is coming. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.